happy Monday. It is actually like just past 5 p.m. I finished work for the day, which work was so crazy busy today. I think there were like over 20 calls waiting in the call queue pretty much throughout the whole day. So it was very, 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 very busy and low-key kind of stressful. So I'm so glad that today is over. But anyway, I thought I would just quickly jump on here, say hello, how you guys been? I am just heading to my house because my mattress arrived the other day and it's still in the box which this is the first time I've got a mattress in a box and it's so so cool. I got one from Fantastic Furniture for about $500 which is really good for a mattress and I'm actually going to go and unbox it and yeah it's going to take like 72 hours to inflate but I'll show you guys me unboxing it and stuff so that's why I thought I would vlog. But yeah I'm going to head over to my house and I will update you guys when I get there. So I'm home and I have my my mattress behind me. It's in a box. It's a queen mattress. I will leave a link down below to the mattress that I got. My best friend Shelby actually owns this mattress and she was the one that recommended it to me. So shout out to her. Anyways, I'm gonna get to unboxing this and yeah, we'll see how we go. I just unboxed the mattress and um, it, well, I haven't unboxed it. It's still rolled up. It came with an instruction manual, so I'm just reading through that now because I have no idea how to unbox this. Shelby told me that when she unboxed it, it like literally almost hit her in the face. So I'm gonna actually read the instructions. Um, by the way, the packaging is like, how cute is this? Lay the box on its side in your bedroom. Remove bag mattress. Carefully remove the first packing material, either fabric or plastic film. Do not use a knife as this may result in damage to your mattress. Roll out the compressed mattress onto a clean flat surface. Carefully cut open the clear plastic bag along the edges. The mattress instantly begins to decompress, remove and recycle the plastic bag. Allow bed to fully recover before adding bed linens. Okay, so I've read the instructions now and I think we are ready to unravel this mattress ball right now. Honestly, I'm scared. I hope it doesn't like explode. surprisingly a lot easier to unbox than I thought and of course it actually unboxed itself I suppose so it kind of did the work for me so thank you mattress basically I'm gonna have to let it decompress and that usually takes about 72 hours so I'll give you an update and show you guys how it looks in a couple days but yeah it looks so good and it already feels really comfy so I'm super excited to have a new mattress it's freaking six in the morning. Oh my goodness, I am so not a morning person. I literally struggled getting out of bed this morning. But little context, I am currently in the car and the reason why I am up so early is because my dining table is getting delivered at 7 a.m. So I needed to open up the house and also they're actually coming to build the table. So I don't have to do it myself, which is honestly amazing. But yeah, it meant that I had to wake up so early. I am absolutely exhausted. I probably look like a mess. I literally just like chucked on a white t-shirt and jeans and I got out of bed. Probably gonna go have a nap after this but yeah I'm so excited for the dining table to arrive. I had so much trouble finding the perfect dining table so I'm fingers crossed praying that it looks really cute. It looks as amazing as it is in the picture and that it fits the house's aesthetic. Anyways I'm gonna go drive onto my house because I want to be there early especially because it is pouring down with rain at freaking six o'clock in the morning so I'm just gonna go and I I will catch up with you guys later and show you guys how the dining table looks. I'm so excited.
table is now all set up and I am absolutely in love with it. It just goes so well with the house aesthetic. So I thought I'd show you guys how it all looks together so far. So this is the dining set and I actually really love how the bench looks. I'm glad that I went with the bench option rather than all chairs because I think it's a really nice mix up. And there's so much storage with this. Like for example, the bench, when you lift up this, there is so much storage under here, which is awesome. And the dining table as well is really cool because there's storage on here as well. And there's one on the other side too. So that is really awesome. And there's also drawers here. We love extra storage. So you can keep like placemats, coasters and stuff in here. That is the dining table. She is absolutely beautiful. And I am so, so excited to decorate it. Anyways, it is still quite early in the morning. As I said earlier, it was like 6 o'clock in the morning. I think it's like 7.30 a.m. now. So I'm probably honestly going to go back to bed for a little bit because I was really looking forward to a sleep in this morning. So I might go and have a little nap. And I've actually got some packages to unbox. I can't remember if I mentioned that earlier. So once I wake up, I'll be sure to do some unboxing. Eventually. It is a little bit later now. I think it's about like 12 p.m. I had a nap. So so I'm feeling so much more refreshed and awake and also straighten my hair because I think I might take some Instagram photos either today or tomorrow. But I wanted to pop on here because I have a few things to unbox. They're mainly books because I have been so into reading lately. So I ordered some books off of Amazon and I also picked up some books secondhand because my local post office is actually selling secondhand books, which is so awesome. So I went and picked up a few the other day. So I'll go through them first and then I'll go through the books that I ordered from Amazon. I also have a coffee table that is still sitting in the box. It's been there for like a week. So I need to unbox that as well. And I'm so excited. So the first book we have is The Vampire Diaries. And yes, this is the same Vampire Diaries as the popular teen TV show. But I'm pretty sure the book versions are quite different. Next book I got was Brethren by Robin Young. I honestly have no idea what to expect from it. But I think it's like 700 pages long. So the third secondhand book is this one called Flying the Coop by Ilsa Evans and I actually have already started reading this and so far I am really liking it. My fourth and final secondhand book was Gossip Girl which is pretty much my comfort show. I love Gossip Girl so much. It's one of my top tier favorite TV shows of all time and I knew there was a book version of this as well but I've never seen it before so when I saw this at the post office I was like I need this. And this was $3. Basically all the books were $2 except I think maybe The Vampire Diaries and Gossip Girl, they were $3. But I got these books all for, for less than $20, which I think is really good because you can probably get the same books online for like $15. So I basically got four books for the price of one, which is awesome. And then for my Amazon books that I ordered, I ordered four books. So I'm very excited. And all of these books are basically ones that I've been wanting to read for a while. Ooh, okay. So we've got my two books here. So I'll go through the first one that I picked up, which is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I've been wanting to read this book for years ever since the before i fall movie came out it's one of my favorite movies and i probably will say that movie changed a lot of my views on life then my second book is actually more of a psychological thriller which i'm so excited for i love that genre and i feel like i haven't really read too many of those books but i love that genre so it's this book by lisa jewell and it's called then she was gone this was recommended to me by rachel Catherine. the next book i have is the nature of witches this book was actually recommended by abigail's cup of tea well actually she didn't technically recommend it she unboxed it in one of her vlogs and the cover really caught my eye and also apparently if you really love taylor swift's folklore album this book gives you that vibe and then the last book that I got was also again recommended by Rachel Catherine who recommended then she was gone and this one is called the arrangement by Robin Harding so yeah those were all the books that I got both secondhand and ordered from Amazon I think I might actually unbox my Temple and Webster order now as well this is my coffee table so you guys will see how that looks like I am so obsessed with it and I'm so excited to see how it looks like in real life as well so let's unbox this. Thank you. 
I've just taken the coffee table out of the box. I've still left it in the bubble wrap for the moment, but here is a little sneak peek. You can see the rattan kind of vibe and it is so unique. I am absolutely obsessed with this find. and I also brought my coffee table in and I've just taken it out of the bubble wrap and it looks so beautiful. I am absolutely obsessed and I'm so excited to get my couch in and see how it all looks because I think it's going to match really well with the couch. Speaking of the couch, I got a very exciting text message from Fantastic Furniture saying that my couch is arriving tomorrow and I am so flipping excited because when I ordered the couch about two weeks ago, it said that it was going to take at least three months to arrive and it's already coming so much earlier than we anticipated and I'm so happy because it feels like everything's kind of coming in at once, which is so perfect. But with that being said, I'm actually working tomorrow so I won't be in to see the couch arrive. So my mum is going to be in here instead and I'm going to get her to film the couch coming in. So you guys are technically going to be seeing the couch before me in that sense but I thought I would show you guys the coffee table because it is so beautiful and so unique it's a very rattan bohemian vibe and I'm in love so this is my beautiful rattan coffee table I got this from temple and web style have it linked down below if you guys are interested it is so pretty I think it was about $299 they do have afterpay so that was really awesome but yeah look how stunning it is oh my goodness I'm so excited like maybe having a vase on top and a coffee table book and maybe a candle oh absolutely obsessed it is so gorgeous anyways right now I'm actually going to be taking some Instagram photos because I can't remember if I mentioned yesterday but I was planning on taking Instagram photos either yesterday or today I thought of just doing it today because the weather is so much better we actually have blue skies today so I'm very happy about that but I got my COVID vaccine, I think a week ago. Yeah, it was a week ago. And I really wanted to take like an Instagram photo shoot kind of showing off my vaccine, I suppose. I don't know, is that weird? It's probably a bit weird, but I saw my friend Sienna do this for when she got her first dose. So I really wanted to do that as well. And also kind of, I don't know, inspiring other people to get vaccinated, I suppose, because that's the only way that we're going to get out of this whole COVID situation. So yeah, I'm going to do a COVID vaccine photo shoot. I know it's so weird. I literally got like band-aids and everything for this photo shoot. I'm, so I'm really going all out. <laughs> We just finished taking the photos and I think they turned out really cute but I also took this cute little Polaroid picture to include in my bullet journal and I think it turned out actually really cute but right now I'm actually just working on editing my video. I was planning on posting it this week but it's probably not going to happen because yeah I've got a lot to edit so I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the day editing my vlog and then I'm going to go pick up some dinner we're getting KFC so I'm very excited because I love KFC we love some fried chicken Bella do you want KFC? oh yes you do KFC haul time. So my mum and I both got an ultimate box. So that just comes with one original piece of chicken, original recipe burger, potato and gravy, and also some chips as well. And I just got Pepsi for the drink. Happy Friday. I am sitting at my new dining table, which is so fun. It's really comfy if you guys were wondering. But yesterday my couch arrived, which was so exciting. My mum actually vlogged it. So I'll insert that footage right here <laughs> Yeah, 
that is the couch. I still have to unwrap it. I might actually unwrap it today just so I can see how it looks like because so far just in the like the package it does look really nice and I think the color matches in really well but I really want to unbox it and put it together. So yeah this is the couch situation at the moment. There's my little coffee table here. I do have to move the couch though because it is an L-shaped couch and this is just like the seat and then this is the L-shaped and I want the actual seat moved over here and then the L-shape going over here. And then eventually when we get a TV unit, I'm gonna have the TV unit and the TV here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool it blows a memento As I fall behind So update, I just finished unboxing the couch and we also had a family friend come and fix up our internet, which is awesome because now I finally have internet at the house so I can actually work here as well. But they also helped with um, fixing together the couch and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Oh my goodness, look at it. So far, this is what the couch looks and here's the coffee table. I think it matches so well together and I am so happy with the color that we ended up choosing. I was so worried about how the color would look like in real life, but I think it just goes so well. I'm gonna have a sit down on the couch and I'll tell you guys how it feels. I am now on the couch and I can say that it feels absolutely comfortable. If you guys are on the hunt for a couch, definitely check out Fantastic Furniture because they have some really good stuff. And this was like, I think it was $1,099. I don't know. I'll have a link to the exact couch that I got if you guys are interested. But yeah, absolutely love the couch. It feels so comfy and I'm so excited to just like have my feet up on the couch, watching TV here. I'm so excited for this one. Oh my goodness. So yeah, very happy with the couch purchase. Also guys, I finally ordered a kettle from Target and it's arrived, so I'm going to unbox it. I've just unboxed it, so this is what it looks like. I got the Sunbeam Capri glass kettle. I have always wanted a glass kettle. I think they look so cool, especially when you're boiling water because it like turns blue and I just think that's so cool. Honestly, here's me fangirling over a kettle. That's when you know you're adulting. So I'm going to unbox this one. Okay, so this is the kettle. It's still wrapped up, so I'll just take it out of the packaging. Okay, so this is the kettle. I'm honestly so excited about this. I'm about to test out the kettle um, and I'm very excited. So I just have some water and I'm just gonna boil it. So let's test it out. Oh, it sparkled up. Well, not sparkled up, but it's brightened up. Okay, so the water just finished boiling and it was just so cool to see. Um, I've never had a glass kettle before, so I've always wanted one because I personally prefer seeing the water actually boiling and seeing the process. I don't know. Am I weird? Probably. And it was actually pretty quiet compared to the toaster I previously owned. So that was really nice because my previous toaster was literally like a train. But anyways, for a little review so far, I mean, I can't really say too much considering I've only boiled water and I've I've only used this one so far but so far i can definitely highly recommend it especially for the price it is really good hey guys just 
popping on here to end this video i hope you enjoyed watching be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any other house videos the next house episode will actually be the one where all the appliances arrive and you'll also get to see my new bed which i'm very excited to share also be sure to follow me on my instagram because i post a ton of house updates on there as well and i will see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.